Hi guys, welcome to a second episode, special for you guys, I thought I'd get the second episode this month. Purely there's two episodes there for you, the first episode being an introduction, who we are, why we collect hot toys. Um, if you don't know what hot toys are, go watch the first episode, I explained it all in the first video, and explained who we are and why we collect hot toys. Anyway, I thought we'd do a couple of news, uh, especially, this is a hot toys talk show, so we're going to talk everything in the world of hot toys and news that have been dropped. We'll start with the first one, the one that came out earlier this year, end of January, Deadpool. Deadpool got dropped, the first figure we saw that is interchangeable eyes. Tom, what can you say? What's your, what's your thoughts about the, the Deadpool figure that dropped well before the film dropped? What I can see is, oh my god, awesome. You know, when I heard that story, I thought... Can this be actually possible? Can Hot Toys actually get that so fast? And the movie has, the movie's not even out till February. It's like, wow, this is amazing. And the fact is, they got the rights for the figure. You know, it is the movie figure. It is from the movie, you know. And I'm like, wow, this is incredible. And then as soon as I get told about, like, the changeable eyes, I thought, you know, this is just, like, a dream come true and... We went up to speak to our friend Jim up in A1. Jim, give you a big high five to you. Um, we talked about Sideshow, um, Deadpool, and he's like, we've got it right here. And we looked at it, and you could always tell there was something off-putting about De the Deadpool Sideshow. It was cool. His whole stand and all that's cool. His whole stand and his whole the wee stand and all that stuff. It's costume, but it's, but it's, it's his costume and there's something wrong. And it's not just that, it's his face. He's got, like... He's got like as if he's like as if he's growing. His his eyes are all you can see all the all the kind of wrinkles and all that. You can see all the kind of as if he's kind of scrunching his eyes and he's doing all that. And you're like, ah, oh, that's just so off putting, you know. You 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 don't you want a Deadpool to be like really awesome and the way you remember him. You know if you remember him for Wolverine v Hulk, the Hulk v Wolverine, or if you remember him for the Spider Man universe, you know, in the cartoon universe. Or if you remember him from the comic books, like um, Car Carnage vs. Deadpool and all that, you know, you just see him, you see how like witty and how funny he is, and when you see that, you just you look at the costume, you go, no, I didn't, no, why do that, why? And then when Hot Toys just went, bang, you know, we're, we've got the movie rights, boom, here he is, four eight movies, even released in February, here he is in January. Boom, he's coming out in a that couple of months. That is a figure you are definitely getting. That's a figure I'm definitely getting. Jim, I'll say to you, hold him for me, definitely buy him. You know I will, I'll be there, I'll be up the day to buy him. He's definitely going to be one of mine. And if any of you viewers out there have not seen the Deadpool movie yet and he's are hearing things said about it, don't, don't go see it. Because my friend was the same. He's like, I don't know if he heard things about it. He says, see it then you can talk all about it. He went and saw it, and he came back to me and went, wow, absolutely wow, amazing, completely from start to finish. He liked it how, like, I'm not going to ruin it, but there's bits in it where he actually talks to the actual audience, like as if he's talking to you, so that's just a wee insight I'm letting you in on. It's amazing. It's kind of like Ferris Bueller's Day Off when he's talking to the 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 viewers, whoever you are behind the screen, it's just like, wow, you just feel like it's such a great film, and he's, he's doing all that, and he's and it's changing with other characters, and it's like, it's just, it's definitely a 10 out of 10, must see, so. Yeah, and so, the, figure, the figure is really, really cool, like, nah, I will be it. Ah, uh, yeah, think it's the Figure's The first brilliant. figure that changed it, interchangeable eyes, we've had interchangeable movies, but we've never had interchangeable eyes, so. Yeah. That was the first one to drop. Also, people have, now got the DeLorean and DeLorean's kicking about now. It's oh, coming across. Yeah, I've heard that, yeah. What do you think about the DeLorean Tom? For those out there, are you getting it or are you just going to pass on it? Is oh. it going to be something that you think that other people should get that's really well, a hardcore? Well, if I was going to get it, I don't think I'd get it in the one bunch. I don't get, I think I would get it in the one month. I think it would be like, if it's going to be like 450 or 500, I think it would be a two month wage. I think it would be. Save bit of money here, put it aside. Next month, wee bit of money, add it together. Right, I've got it. Do you know what? I'll get it out the road. I've got it. That's me. I don't have to worry about it. But 
in saying that, we've obviously delayed, or we, we did say, we'd say that about the Batmobile for the 1989, which we know again it's selling it, which is quite pricey, but, you know, it's one of the things you don't get, if you don't go for it, you know, you regret it, you know, and the DeLorean, I don't know, it's just, it's such an amazing Really? Right, sorry, um, video kind of cut Hi guys, here. we're back. We're back, so, sorry. Video Carrie call. Fisher. Carrie Fisher, um, what do you think? My opinion, as I said, I think she's amazing. I think she's the best we're going to get. You know, there's a lot of people out there saying, oh, she's a bit off putting this and that. Don't get much wear. You're not going to get much wear. She's there just to kind of fill that gap, you know, to kind of complete that bunch and all that. Mm -hmm. Which, though, is she really though? Because when we spoke to a friend Jim up in um, A A One Comics, um, he apparently said this that um, they've got um, over in Hong Kong they've got um, R two D two and C three PO. So they could yeah, they, they could be, we could be seeing them. They Comic could. On. Don't nobody knows if the only thing is nobody knows if they are sideshow or hot toys. So just maybe we'll see Comic Con, maybe they'll surprise us. What what's what has been what has been rumoured and I think it is true is they're in diecast because they're going to be like Robocop, they're going to be diecast, C three Pro is going it's to like be an R two D two and I'm thinking well if it's diecast it's going to be hot toys, it's not going to be sideshow. Because yeah. sideshow no go to an extreme state do that so I think it is going to be hot toys and I think it, I think that's going to be it I think that's going to be the complete the new hope and, and let's then, hope this Comic Con we see or at least hear news of Empire Strikes Back well yeah definitely line, because they've got to start that line they've got well they did didn't they be DX well they've got, they, that, they've got they've got one they've got one but let's see a Vader let's see I don't know, let's see more. We can still see the hand for that, really. His costume changes, let's, let's, layer changes. Well. Let's see the hand solo and the carbonite, you know, because obviously it's put in the carbonite in the second film. Let's see... A Lance Carrot, really. Do you want, do you want a Lando Calrissian? Let's see... Um, let's see Han and Luke in their snow, in their um, Hoth outfits, you know. Let's see... I don't know, they could give so many, they could give the storm troop, they the could give the snow troopers, you could give them, you could even if you wanted it, this would be ridiculous, but you could give the big 80 80s, which would be gigantic. I, mean, I think that storm troopers are the new, I mean, I don't know, new Iron Man for Hot Toys. Oh, That's definitely. Not, I, mean, I mean, see realistically, see, the 80, see if they did the 80 80s, the big snow walkers, see if they did that. I think they would be easily, I think the scale of them, they would be about, I don't know, they would definitely be for an Ikea glass cabinet, they would easily be for the bottom of that, and they would probably reach up to maybe the third shelf on that easily, that's how big they would be, if they did, if they would be hot, awesome. hot Toys did an AT-80, and you would be like, where would you put it? Let's get Just put this big massive well, thing. Let's what? keep our fingers crossed to see what comes out. Yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's just hope. Um, so there is one I'm going for definitely. As I've started the whole new hope collection, is you need to end all her, I suppose. Yeah. Um. So let it drop, guys. If you go look her up, just Google her. It's pretty yeah. cool looking. If you haven't had a chance to see her. One final thing that dropped, and I'm, people have been begging for. I've not got any of them in my collection. Near as Tom, he's thinking of starting them up. We finally, finally. Seen Drax. Drax, yeah. Finally, we've, we've not actually seen him really in this display. I know, but... But we've seen the production photos, that means he's coming. He's coming. He's eventually getting released. And that will complete end it's got the Gardens of the Galaxy out there collection. That will complete your um, collect, collection. Finally, we've seen production photos out. That must mean he's coming. What do you think about Drax finally coming out? Well, it's been holding him back. Finally, what is being said is obviously they took him back because of um, Dave Batista was not happy with the face like he was not happy with the whole look of it. He just he didn't just didn't like it. He just felt it just didn't look like him. So he asked Hot Toys to drag all them back in, all them back, work on the face sculpture, fix the face sculpture, and. Then once he was shown the final, 
final production. Um, he was happy with it and that was it. Hot Toys went, right, we're fine in the there, so, like, I'm happy because, like, now you can complete. Now you can actually you. complete, you know, I was actually so tempted to go for Star Lord and then as soon as I heard, you know, he's been pulled back, I kind of went, ah, it's kind of put me off, kind of uh, going for him now, it's stopped me, kind of, I was like, I don't want to get Star Lord and get, you know, Rocket Raccoon and Groot and all that and then I'm not going to have an incomplete team, you know, but now he's actually thinking, we knew that's, that could be a possibility, I could be actually, maybe one of my hot toys, maybe go for, I could go for Star Lord and Drax and Rocket Raccoon. I mean, it's a nice set. Some, I've seen some Great. people that have got them, and if you've got them, guys. Yeah. Also, if you're enjoying this video and you've got some of them, and you, the ones we've not mentioned, please leave the comments down below, and we can feature them in our next video, probably. Yep, definitely. Next one. Yep. That's about it, this, this episode, guys. This is the second episode of Hot Toys Talk. We'll probably be back next month, um, and we'll change the display for, for um, rotate it because I couldn't fit every single thing that I've got here. But um, I hope you enjoyed the first two uh, episodes this month. Um, we'll try and get some next month once we hear more news of Hot Toys coming out. And Tom says we'll probably do an episode at some point down at his where we can actually have a look at his collection on the in display. Definitely. Is there any final thoughts that you're saying about uh, you want to let people know if they've not got anything or anything like that? Um, well, um, if any news viewers are hot toys buyers or not hot toys buyers who are thinking about buy if any of you are thinking about going for anything if you are thinking about starting up or whatever you are unsure and all that um either if it's the robocop 2 pack or the star wars um new hope line or if it's the dc world or marvel world whatever you're starting off with um Look at it first, compare the prices, and if you, if you see it at a reasonable price, and if you're starting the line off, start the line off the hardest figure that's possible to get. Like some me, I'm getting the Robocop 2-pack out the road, because that's the one that's been held for me first, so I'm getting that, so that'll be me. I've not got the Ed 209, me and my friend are not got the Ed 209, me and my friend Paul, but we are going to try and save up money to get get them so that we can complete that whole Robocop collection. The only thing is, I wish I'd got the Robocop chair. But we've not got the chair, so we're kind of incomplete, but we still have the figures, so we still feel a bit of kind of completion there. We, with regards to my Star Wars, my first two I'll be getting is my Han Solo and Chewie, that'll be just kick off my Star Wars. Then after that it'll be my Darth and my look, and then I'll have to track down Obi Wan, but I, I'll track him down. I found him at a reasonable price, so stormtroopers. So sorts. then stormtroopers, and then you've got sand troopers, and then you've got the black tie five trooper, and then you've got you've got so many. You've got, I mean, you've got exclusive look any stormtrooper. You could have him as well. It goes on. It goes on. Endless, that's like, but that's why they call it a hobby, and it is a great hobby. But I, also, another thing to let you guys know. Hot Toys in the last year or so have started doing two packs, right? Sometimes they release a two pack and you can get two figures single. You can get some like some like Iron Chewy, for example. You can at least you can actually sell them single. But some figures like your Michael Keaton, uh, that uh, Batman Returns, they they released the Michael Keaton. The only way to get them is in the box. In the box. Yeah. So have a look into that, guys. Maybe something you may have to. Instead of buying, they did it with Robocop, the only way they could get the Alex Murphy, you couldn't get them singles, so the only way you had to get them was in the box set. Unless, I mean, some people buy the, like the Battle Damage Robocop or just the Batman Returns and are not bothered about the Michael Keaton, that's fine. Um, as Bruce Wayne or anything like that. So it's entirely up to yourself. If you want a complete collection, you have to go for the actual box sets. Like ourselves, we never bother getting the Robocop with chair, that came in a kind of box set thing, we just got the Robocop on its own. And now our collection is sort of incomplete, but it's entirely up to yourselves whether you prefer just to get certain ones. It's all not about how you, what you, what you like on it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the second episode. Take care, guys, and we'll see you hopefully next month. Goodbye. Goodbye.